What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to episode 15 of my 5th 14 Road to Brazil series. Welcome back guys, and um, what this series is all about is a traditional road to gold with my own slight twist, a Brazilian theme one, where basically we start off with a silver non-red base standard squad, go and check that out, and then we upgrade the players depending on the results of the game. We win, we upgrade, we lose, we downgrade. We cannot downgrade any further than the silver non-red players, and we've got to complete a whole team kind of um, whole um, rating before we can move on to the next one. So last episode we finished off the hold gold non-rare players that means we can go to the gold rare players unfortunately we went and actually lost our final game therefore having to downgrade but we can still go for the gold rare players in this episode um first game of the episode we're going to go for alexandro pato so i wasn't really liking wellington up front too much compared to what jobson was doing up top um so i decided to go for an up Grade and Pato is a fantastic striker and we're only going to be able to use him this FIFA because obviously FIFA 15 have lost the rights to the Brazilian league but uh, we come against this BPL type squad here um, with Adel Lamy and Rossi and El Shirari on the left hand side of the team uh, but a uh, 50th minute kind of boring game so far I was just trying to keep possession make sure he wasn't scoring uh, but a uh, nice ball into Douglas Costa down the right hand side Kalishi um, falls for the kind of fake put that ball in to the head of Wellington who's going to nod that in to go and make that 1-0 in the 50 second minute Minute. Edison here with an absolute thunderbolt of a shot. Fantastic shot indeed. And third time lucky, going to get that past the keeper. to go and make that 2-0. And that's the final score. As you can see there, dominated him in possession. Um, shots I kind of dominated him on as well. And like I said, I was just trying to keep the ball as much because if he doesn't have the ball, he can't score, which is a great tip, guys. Um, but um, that means we can go and get our first gold rare player into the team. We're going to swap out Wellington for Alexandro Pato. Pato being a fantastic striker on FIFA. Most FIFAs, he's very, very solid. He's got skills. He's got good finishing. He's got pace. That's what you want up top. Uh, but we're going to go into the next player, which is going to be Diego the Cam for Atletico Madrid. I believe he's now playing in the Turkish League, I think, off the top of my head. I'm not too sure on that one. Unless he is still playing, I got completely confused. But uh, we come against this team, and look at that. That's such a strong team. Three informs an international man of the match and two team of the season cards with the addition of Falcao, Lucas Moura, Thiago Silva, Levetsi, and, Al and, and Saladi on the left back. And um, I, I was not... I was, I was thinking... I was going to get absolutely arse rinsed here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, especially when a goal from that, from I believe that was Hammers Rodriguez there, is going to go and make that 1 0. Pato here picks a ball up and lovely, lovely fake shot to find some space into the path of Fernando. Um, sorry, Fernandinho. And he's going to shrug off the challenge there and he's going to just smash this into the back of the net to go and make that 1 1 there. And I thought this, this was a chance until I fucked up. I got no idea what my centre back was doing um, with that stupid fucking back heel. And I knew I was going to concede from doing that. I just knew. And um, I was pretty pissed off about that. And this was, I, this was one of those days where it was just the AIDS was real. The FIFA AIDS was absolutely disgusting um like i was not playing at this moment but why does he have to crap that there like come on are you kidding me and then he does the exact same here there's no one playing on the controller and you've got to do that which it, it just annoys me but i was so frustrated about this game um as you can see there i had six shots on target and only put one in the back of the net the possession was fairly even but the amount of like Every shot he was just saving. I just could not put anything in the back of there. But that means we're going to have to downgrade. Robert Firmino is going to downgrade to Leonardo. Leonardo has been one of those players that just... He's always seemed to be back in the team. I just can't get rid of him, really. Like, it's, it's getting slightly frustrating. But uh, he's not a bad player, so I don't really mind it too much um, in actually putting him back in. But we're going to go straight into the third and final game of this episode. Obviously playing for Miranda, the um, centre-back. I believe I went to play for him last episode, I think it was, um, and actually lost the game um, and had to downgrade. But the defence is kind of... It's just not working for me at this moment. So I thought I needed an upgrade. Come against, look, look at the team I'm coming up against. Set it out. Ibarbo, Palacio, Tevez, Cordolado, El Chirari, Pogba, De Rossi. And then three very, very strong, good centre-backs with Buffon in goal. Compared to my team, it's just the ratings, the, play, the quality of the players. It's just so high that I just have a lot of trouble um, getting it into the back of the net because... And I make mistakes quite often. But um, there you go. He goes and puts that 1-0 there with a bad mistake from my player. And I actually do go and take him down for a penalty. Which at first, I didn't think this was a penalty. I was adamant this was not going to be a penalty. But on the replay, yeah, you could argue I just barely touched him. But um, I did just go through him and he's going to go down. He's going to go and score this penalty to go and make that 2-0. Um, we then move into the 65th minute. And it was just not working. Every header he was winning... Um, 
Look, what was my centre back doing there? If anyone else saw that, I, I was going to do, you know, on the match of the day where they do the like, circles and the arrows and all that shit. I was going to do that there because I just, the run he made, it was like he was in a striker. And look at the amount of shots I had on target. Nine, zero put in the back in there. What the fuck is going on? Like, I know Buffon's a good keeper, but when someone has nine shots on target and you can't score, there is something seriously wrong and it's just not my day. But obviously, we're going to have to downgrade Juan Jesus to Felipe to go into the centre back position. And guys, it's coming towards the end of the episode. We're not playing too well with the squad. Like I said, it's always hard going into a transition to the next rating, uh, to the gold rare players, because you obviously downgrade if you lose, and it gets hard. It gets in this vicious cycle. But uh, it's coming towards the end of the episode. And also, mimic that like button. Awesome man, subscribe, stay tuned to the series, and any feedback in the comments would be much appreciated. Guys, this has been Crush. Till next time, adios.